Hey guys, this is Guardy J, out of Year Well Wasted, and I'm here to demonstrate the Outlander class from Torchlight 2. Now the Outlander kind of plays as the the rogue or you know the the ranger of the game, specializing more in ranged attacks like um, uh, rifles, uh, bows and arrows, and pistols. Um, let's see, she also plants a lot of traps. Uh, just uh, in general, really. What you want to focus on is kind of getting your charge up, just like uh, all the other classes, because charge is it's where it's at. Now, with the uh, with the Outlander, when you get the charge up, it improves your cast speed, uh, your chance to dodge, your critical hit chance, and your attack speed for every, I think, every one of these uh, little waves, uh, up to something like 10%. So you're going to want to kill, and you're going to want to keep killing um, as quickly as possible, because that, that bar drops swiftly. Uh, now, there are moves specifically for gaining charge, like the Glaive here. Um, and the Glaive, every time you throw it, gives you 2% charge. Uh, and also kind of bounces off of enemies. It actually does a pretty substantial amount of damage. Um, you also have a close range Glaive, which will build 5%. But you, you really don't want to be close um, with a, a Outlander, because Outlander is ranged, as I said before. So, let's see. Uh, this is a waste of time. So if they get close, I mean it's a good way to kind of score some extra, uh, some extra charge. But you see, right now you can see it's three percent um, uh, across the board. Now it's two percent. So uh, that's really this. This is the one class that kind of inspires you to uh, to use your base weapon um, to to get your stats up and use your base weapon as frequently as possible. Whereas the other classes, they want you to kind of specialize in. Um, good lord, uh, specialize in and using your your spells a little bit more frequently. Um, now you don't exactly have to play it that way. You can go for more of a trap, uh, a trap build. I'll show you kind of here. Now this here is called the Blade Pact. Uh, it, it lays a trap here. Now anytime an enemy kind of comes in here, uh, it will um, put a curse, uh, like a little curse icon above their head, which lowers their attack speed, lowers their movement speed, and then lowers their physical armor. So you can kind of drop this and then back off and and shoot at them as they're kind of walking through. And in the same vein, um, this is entangling shot. And what it does is it it immobilizes them, it uh, or tangling shot, it entangles them, and it will do poison damage over time. Um, so uh, you can, if you've got too many guys to handle, just immobilize them. Now you can't do anything. Just immobilize them. That poison damage will hurt them over time, and I don't have to kind of worry about him. And you can walk into a crowd of uh, of guys and kind of unleash that, slow them all down. Put a blade pact on them. Now they're all going to take extra damage. And see, they drop really quick when you hit them with the blade pact, except for this guy who just refuses to die. Thank you for embarrassing me. Uh, there are some other pretty cool um, moves in here. Now, if you want to go for a bit more chaotic, there are moves like Shadow Shot here, which when you shoot it, let's see if this works. Uh, it won't. We'll have to go find some more enemies. Now, basically what it does is when you hit an enemy with it, it breaks off into smaller pieces that are heat-seeking. So. so if you want to clear a uh, if you want to clear fields, that's it's a great way to do it. Um, this is a this is a dead end over here. It is not. So let's go down here. So as, as you can see, it's just a, a huge damage dealer, um, and it's great for dealing with crowds, as I said before. And then here's another one. This is uh, Chaos Burst. Now this just bounces off of everything. Now it's not going to be quite as effective unless you're in close quarters. Oh, we got an elite here. But you can see it bouncing, kind of bouncing off of everything here. Let's kind of keep our distance from this. Now this one's not swirling quite as much. I think maybe because of the uh, open area. Oh, you are killing me. Okay. Let's get all this stuff here. Okay. Uh, another thing. Um, Bane breath. Bane breath is uh, it's pretty humorous. Bane breath. Whenever you kill an enemy with it, it will turn them into. Uh, uh, shadowlings, which are just little imp creatures. Let's see if I can keep doing it. And let's see, as you can see, the imp creatures here are just running around for I think seven seconds. Just attack everything that uh, you know that moves. And we can continually do this, but you have to kill people. <laughs> Great for causing some chaos, as you can see. That's a pretty good time. Uh, so let's area out here. Now, if you're trying to play uh, a bit more evasive, a bit more trap-oriented, you've got um, uh, the the Rune Vault. 
which if guys are getting too close you hit it and if they happen to be in that that circular area they'll blind them and it will inflict 10 percent of your dps and that that amount um increases that percent increases as you uh, as you add um points into that skill uh, let me see if i have anything else to cover uh rapid fire um yeah rapid fire is it and then you've got rapid fire which uh, stays true to its namesake you just stand back and unload on anything that's trying to get close to you uh, yeah, it has a bit of a knockback. Um, does it doesn't do uh, nearly as much uh, as your weapons will do, but it keeps them at a uh, at a distance and it decreases their armor. So, uh, great time. There we go. So it's good for dispersing uh, waves of the smaller enemies since the pistols aren't exactly the fastest. Um, but Outlander is one of my personal favorite classes just because of uh, you know. The, the different traps and the the, uh, the Bane Breath, as you saw. Um, and she just makes for uh, a lot of chaos, setting the traps, bouncing back. She's just, she's just a fun class to play. Okay, let's get in here. And they all have lowered armor now. Here, you get out of here. There we go. <laughs> I don't have enough mana. Ah, I'm running out of mana. Alright, and there we go. Yeah, uh, great class. Have a great time uh, playing it. Um, focus mostly on range, and once again, you can customize uh, any character in Torchlight 2 as you see fit. Yeah, put um, any weapon on any character, uh, and you know, no no stat tree restrictions. So if you you want to wait until you level up far uh, to 21 to get this uh, to Flaming Glaives in the lore tree. And not anything else. That is, you are free to do that. Um, and then, you know, you got all your specialty stuff here, uh, dual wielding. But that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, and that's it. And that uh, kind of wraps up my series, um, uh, kind of explaining the different classes in Torchlight 2. I hope you enjoyed um, watching these videos. Torchlight 2 still does not have a release date as of the recording of this video. Uh, hopefully. Th They'll post something soon. So far, it's just um, summer. But the game is $20. It's DRM-free. You can play multiplayer. It's moddable. Like, there's no reason not to get it if you are interested in this uh, this type of game. Uh, it's just a great time. And Torchlight 1 was a blast as well. So I hope you guys will, uh, will go pick it up. And uh, if so, I'll see you online. Thanks for watching.